Hey, man. How's it going tonight? We're going to get going here in just one second. I just had to post a link to the live feed on the blog and the Facebook page. And then we'll get going. Ben Morris, good to see you. Good evening. We are going to start tonight with the uh, Stars and Steel box, and then we will do the Skybox limited box uh, second. This is technically two different breaks, so I will have two sets of bonus packs, one for the first uh, box and then one for the second box. And at the end of the break, I will also uh, tell everyone what's up next. So that's the uh, that's the plan for tonight. Uh, it is 9.01. I got my live feed uh, posted just a little bit late. So hopefully people are able to kind of filter in that want to watch tonight. Um, so I'm not going to waste too much time because we do have two boxes to open. I will uh, mention one more time that uh, all breaks currently um, are... Uh, every spot taken is another entry into the Top Strata free box giveaway, which I'm hoping to do. Uh, I think we'll actually bump this up. We actually have a lot of entries already, and if we fill up the next couple breaks, I think that'll be plenty. So I'm going to try to do this around Thanksgiving, um, somewhere right in there, and then maybe I can find a second box for December. Not sure yet, um, but basically any boxes that I quote-unquote make money on, um, I just set those funds aside and then use those to buy something that probably most of us wouldn't rip otherwise. So that's what this one was. Um, and yeah, so that's the plan with that. Uh, for tonight, we're going to begin with the Stars and Steel. So let me get our limited box out of the way. This I'm looking forward to. Uh, I'm pretty excited to see what this is. Uh, Colby Hopper busted a, one of these a while ago and sent me a link to his video like many years ago, I think, actually. Um, and it was pretty neat. So I'm looking forward to that. And we have some bonus packs to uh, get as well. So we've got three there. We have our box of Bowman, which is down to four packs left remaining. So we'll take one of those out. And I think it's time for me to break into this guy for more bonus packs. So I'm going to take uh, one of this, and you can expect a bunch of these. So we've got uh, the Carl Yastrzemski puzzle, which comes in each one. So that'll go to the Red Sox slot. So if you start claiming the Red Sox for the next uh, however many breaks it takes, you can get probably the full puzzle. I would assume there's a full puzzle in this box. So let me get the plastic wrap off of this thing. And we'll take one of these lovely orange packs out. So that's what we're busting for our bonus boxes in the first break of the night, which is Top Stars and Steel. Um, let me go down through the teams quickly, and then we'll get going. So Colby Hopper has the Angels and Braves. Shane has the Orioles, Mariners, and Mets. Um, Shane Milheim, that is. Ben Morris grabbed the Red Sox, Indians, Astros, Phillies, Giants, Rangers, and Blue Jays, for which I am eternally grateful. Adam Kenninger grabbed the Rockies and Marlins. Rod Richards has the Padres and Dodgers. Jeff Beamish has the Twins, Yankees, and Cardinals. Ben Martin, the Cubs. Andrew Rain, the White Sox. And I have the Reds. Um, any... Uh, unclaimed teams from the bonus packs i'm just going to randomly distribute amongst those of you that are in this particular break the uh, 98 stars and steel does not include every team they're not every team is represented in this set which is why they weren't available for purchase so it's possible we get in a bonus pack some of the teams that are not actually claimed by anybody so i'm just that's how i distribute the cards Let me pull up the chat here so I don't miss you guys. 
the gold price refractor for Ben Morris. All right. So this is the uh, 90 Dunruss. I'm guessing most people have seen 90 Dunruss. It's a love it or hate it set for sure. But for free cards, why not, right? And uh, I figured it'd be fun to have some another box to go through. Um, there's a bunch of errors and variations in Dunruss, so I'm not going to take the time to look for those. I know they exist, um, but yeah, you can you can search those when you get your cards. So with that said, let's jump right in. Ricky Jordan for the Phillies. Carmen Castillo for the Twins. Mark Grant for the Padres. Dennis Eckersley, Athletics. John Morris, Cardinals. Kenny Rogers, Rangers. Roberto Alomar, Padres. Nice card. Jeff Pico for the Cubs. John Moses for the Twins. Carlton Fisk, MVP. That is, I believe, an insert for the White Sox. Felix Furman, Indians. Jose Gonzalez, Dodgers. Milt Thompson, Cardinals. Pat Borders, Blue Jays. RJ Reynolds for the Pirates. Tim Raines for the Expos Nationals. And our puzzle piece is the cap and a little bit of bat. Pieces 13, 14, and 15. We also have our 1989 Bowman, where we're looking for the not a second Griffey uh, rookie card. We pulled one pretty early on in this box. A lot of gum stain there. All right, so we've got our uh, Dodgers ad card there. Todd Worrell, Bruce Ruffin for the Phillies, Paul Gibson for Detroit, uh, Ron Robinson, I think, Don Robinson, sorry, for the Giants. I don't know who that guy is. Fred Man Manrique. Probably saying that wrong. Jeff Shaw. Jeff Sellers, rather. The Reds. We have a Mariner, but not the one we're looking for. Ray Kiones. Cal Daniels. Andy Van Slyke. Uh, Gary Templeton. Couldn't figure out who that was from the autograph. Jody Davis for the Braves. And Hubie Brooks for the Expos. So that's that pack. Next, bonus pack, score 1991. I am on the hunt for new bonus packs. Uh, I have one coming up, a couple new ones coming uh, for future breaks, so... We'll keep it mixed up for everybody. There's another Tim Raines for the Expos. John Farrell, Indians. Dave Justice, Braves. I love this 91 score set, though. I've already built this set. Um, it's it's junk wax, but it's a really nice set, actually. John Burkett, Giants. Uh, let me just, if you have ignored this set, which I know a lot of people ignore everything in the early 90s, pretty much. Uh, Nice photo on the back, great write-up, lots of information, lots of stats, easy to read card number. I don't really like the location of the card number on the card, but otherwise, it's a nice set. So um, I was happy to be able to include that. Uh, Otis Nixon, a lot of great photos, actually, like that one. We've got Jose Canseco, Dream Team. I could do without the half-naked men. It's not really my scene, but... Uh, that is what it is. Mike Bordick, Athletics. Jim Batcher, Braves. Kurt Young, Athletics. Ken Anderson, Angels. Bob Ojeda, Mets. Mark Portugal, Astros. Each pack comes with one of these sort of sports flicks-esque thing. <laughs> Dreamy. <laughs> uh, this one says Yankees again, so we'll throw that in the Yankees pile. Jay Buhner for the Mariners. Greg Hibbard for the White Sox, Bill Swift also for the Mariners, and Matt Young for the Mariners. Mariners hot pack there. Yeah, the 91 score set has, I don't know, I always like the big cartoon oversized heads, like the character all-star cards. and yeah, just like, I like the set. 99.9 .9 plate. What are you missing, Ben? Was it one of the ones we just pulled? 
All right, this is uh, the, what is this? The 2015 top set. They all blend together around the mid 2000s for me. Mid 2010s, I should say. Juan Uribe to the Dodgers. Gregor Blanco for the Giants. Patrick Corbin, Diamondbacks. Max Scherzer, Nationals, this is a nice card. And John Danks for the White Sox. And our final bonus pack for this box. Uh, one of the yeah, I didn't bother with the variants. I just one of each card number, and I'm happy. I couldn't be bothered with the variants. All right, Twins, Louis Rivas, Mike Timlin, Red Sox, Jared Washburn, Angels, Jose Mesa, Rockies, Braden Looper for the Mets. There's a nice Mickey Mantle for the Yankees. So weird pulling Mantle cards out of flagship tops as a you know, base card number seven, of course. Although I guess I prefer that to when they just left number seven blank. That was annoying uh, for set collectors. Kenny Rogers, Tigers. Cy Young Award, Chris Carpenter, Cardinals. Tom Glavin for the Mets. Rookie of the Year, Houston Street, Athletics. A nice Craig Biggio for the Astros. Chase Utley for the Phils, Paul Bird, Indians, Brian Fuentes for the Rockies, the Twins, Joe Nathan, Scott Pesednik, White Sox, David DeJesus, Royals, Angel Barroa, Royals, Mike Piazza, Padres, that's just bizarre. I Weird seeing him in the Padres. Miguel Olivo for the Marlins. Mark Grunzelanek for the Royals, and Ramon Hernandez for the Orioles. Okay, so those are all of our bonus packs for our Stars and Steel. Uh, ben, have I add, added you on TCDB? I just started using that. I'm not sure if I did or not. Uh, really only been using it in the last probably two weeks. I've had an account there forever. But I uh, haven't been using it. At one point, I started to upload all my Larkin collection into it, and it just was too tedious. And so I got bored and stopped, and then I never went back to it. So I have, like, some of my, I don't know, 86 to 89 or 90 Larkin cards listed, and even that's out of date now. Okay, if we've connected on there, I, I don't remember. Uh for sure who I've connected with. Uh, all right, so we're ready to get going with the um, Stars and Steels. Each of these is going to be like a kind of a cardboard fold-out, um, all of which are in shrink wrap, which I don't know if I need my scissors for these or not. Um, they come – well, I'll show you in a second. Get, get it open here. Yeah, the importing the collection is – I guess it's a, it'll be it'll be nice when I get that my whole set or whole collection imported. Oh, I do need my scissors to open that stickers. That's a sturdy sticker. Tops spared no expense on the stickers there. Okay, so here's how this works. Uh, the you can see it's kind of like a booklet and it opens up, and so we can do a a slow reveal of our cards. So our first, each of these is going to hold three. So our first is Greg Maddox. And if I can kind of carefully pop that out, they are printed on metal. That's like the gimmick of the whole thing. You can see they're very shiny. I'm trying hard not to get fingerprints on it best I can for, uh, in this case, Colby, who has the Braves. Um, pretty nice. little bit of... Of dings on the on the side here, you can I don't know if you can pick that out in the light, but there's definitely this card is ding or this it's weird to say it's a card when it's made of metal, but it is dinged a little bit. Then our next two, we've got Bernie Williams for the Yankees and Jeff Bagwell. Get my hand out of the way, but I have to hold this open for the Astros. 
Bernie, the Yankees were, who had the Yankees this time? Um, Jeff Beamish has the Yankees and the Astros are Ben Morris. So congrats to you guys for getting the first three medal cards. The checklist, oops, put that back in there. The checklist for the set is really small, for only 44 cards total. So that's why not every team is represented. It's a gimmick. Definitely a gimmick. Yeah, they're nice cards. They are nice cards. Uh, and, you know, how many of us have pure metal baseball cards? Probably not Not too many of us. So they're, I think it was fair that it's, you know, I th I'm pretty sure this is a one and done brand. I don't I don't. Think, Maybe there was two years of it. I don't know. It didn't last long anyways. Um, that first card always seems to be loose. So our next box has David Justice for Cleveland. And then we have a Larry Walker, who is also trying to escape. And Kenny Lofton for the Braves, I guess. Is that the Braves for Kenny Lofton here? I would have said Indians, but that looked like a Braves helmet. I'll look on the back when I sort those just to double check that. There is also uh, parallels, or I think actually one parallel in this set. Um, and those come, I believe, one per box. Okay, next up. Mo Vaughn. And on the inside, a nice Tino for the Yankees and Ken, Ken Caminiti for the Padres. I'll show you the backs of the cards, too. That's the Mo Vaughn that was escaping. They're very shiny. If I can get it in the light just right, you can see. I think you're going to like these cards if you've never held one of these. Uh, they're sharp, a little bit like you open a like a can with a kind of crappy can opener and the edge is really sharp. A little bit like that. You want your tetanus shot before you mess with these, I think. Okay. Kind of annoying to open each of these individually. Yvonne Rodriguez. This is a 98 set, which is smack dab in the middle of Yvonne Rodriguez's like heyday for baseball cards. I swear I pull like three of his in every pack back uh, around that time. The Braves on the board again with Andrew Jones and the Mets making an appearance with Todd Hunley. I will carefully sleeve all of the metal cards uh, when I sort of sort all these group break cards out. Yep, we had a pudge sighting. And then I will. If anyone wants one of these cardboard uh, booklets, let me know. I can throw one of those in um, for anybody that would like one. Well, up to 12 of you, I guess. Oh, this is a good booklet. We've got Paul Molitor. Oops, let me come over here. Paul Molitor for the Twins. And then right there in the middle, the Big Hurt. That's a beautiful card. And Jim Tomei for the Indians. Who has the White Sox this time? Uh, Andrew Rain has the White Sox. I don't know if Andrew's in here, but I'm sure he joined with the hopes of getting that Frank Thomas. I would have to imagine. That's a beautiful, beautiful looking card. These really are nice. Packaging is a little bit overkill. And 
I uh, am curious what they retailed for back in 1998. Like, what would one of these set you back if you went to a hobby shop? Also, I'm pretty sure I didn't know where there was a single hobby shop near me at that time. Albert Bell, also for the White Sox. And then we have a Noma for the Red Sox and a Roger Clemens for Toronto. Yeah, the star power is is very strong on this set. I mean, you got Alamore, Bagwell, Bell, Bichette, Bond, Buner, Caminiti, Castillo, Clemens, etc. Ken Griffey Jr. is in here, Derek Jeter, Randy Johnson, Chipper and Andrew Jones, Justice, Larry Walker, Cal Ripken. I mean, just to name but a few. They went with the stars. There, there are no, uh, no middle relievers in this set. And Shane, good evening to you too, by the way. Glad you were able to join. Either those stickers are abnormally strong or I need better scissors. And Shane, here you go. Make a comment, get a card. For the Orioles, a beautiful looking Kyle Ripken, although the corner might be dinged slightly. Let me see. I guess that's just how it looks. So there's Kyle Ripken's backside of that card. You can see he played forever already, so lots of stats. Very nice. Very sharp. <laughs> Literally very sharp. It's metal. Haha. <laughs> Scott Rowland for the Phillies. And a card that I definitely wanted to see for the Mariners. Also going to Shane, who has the Mariners and Orioles, Ken Griffey Jr. So that's a that's a Shane pack right there, sandwiched uh, between the Phillies. And the Phillies, who ended up with Philadelphia? Ben Morris, Scott Rowland, going to you. That's a nice, nice pack. That Griffey's gorgeous. We've got five more, I think. Is anybody uh, hoping for a specific player that we haven't pulled yet? Not sure what people were looking for in this set. I just stabbed myself. Rafael Palmero. There's the one I was hoping for. Barry Larkin. And Chipper Jones for the Braves. Yes, Shane, I'll get you. I'll get you a box for sure. One of these little folder thingies. We've pulled a lot of the big names. It feels like. I haven't found the parallel yet. All right, for the Marlins, Gary Sheffield. Dodgers, Mike Piazza, and Andres Galarraga for the Rockies. What was you looking for, Ben? Oh, looking for Pudge, Manny, and no more. Okay. Well, we've got three more cracks at it. Obviously, I was looking for the Larkin. I think that's the only red in this set. I think. I don't really care too much about the other Reds. Um, was a big team collector as well for a while, but I've cut back to just sets and, and Barry for the most part. Sammy Sosa. Nice looking card. Tony Gwynn for the Padres. I'm guessing Rod is Going to be happy to see that. I don't know if Rod's watching live, but there you go, Rod. And Juan Gonzalez. Two more little booklet thingies. Once this is done, uh, I'm going to keep the live video going, and we will uh, bust the 2004 Skybox Limited Edition. 
So for those of you that are in both breaks, just hang tight. And if you just want to hang out, hang tight. Or if you're waiting for that break, hang tight. Uh, Roberto Alomar, Orioles. Vinny Castilla, Rockies. And Barry Bonds for the Giants. Some serious home run power in that folder. And our last... This plastic off our last folder home run Bellinger huh I have the Rays winning the World Series which means probably the Dodgers will win I entered a pick contest where you had to decide who was gonna oh we got our gold I'll keep it slightly hidden so we have Jay Buhner we have Dante Vichette and our gold one per Big box parallel is of Barry Bonds for the Giants. This would have been a monster pull at 98. Uh, try to carefully pop that out of its. It's not numbered or anything, but that's the gold parallel. You can see the extra gold uh, design around it. Can't miss it. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So that's going to the Giants. And the Giants, uh, Ben Morris, who just, just wooed. There you go, Ben. Again, back in 98, that probably was the chase card, if I had to guess, out of this whole set. So very nice. Uh, yeah, so I've got Shane Down wants one of these boxes. If anyone else does, let me know. One of these little metal folder things or cardboard. They're pretty sturdy. Um, they also, of course, would add weight for shipping. So normally I would just put the cards back in it for people, but you may, some of you may wish to not have them if they're just trash to you. They are pretty heavy, so uh, I guess I put those in sideways, but I'll sort that out later. All right, give me one second, and then I'll get going with the second break here. In just a moment to clear off my desk. A mess on my cover there. All right. Okay. So that was fun. Ben Morris, you'll take one. Got it. Let me mark down who wanted one. Anybody else want one besides Shane and Ben? I'll probably just recycle the rest of them. I don't want them myself for any reason. Okay. Uh, with that, we are now ready for our second group break. Uh, we've got new teams. We've got new people. We've got all 30 teams represented this time. So um, <laughs> this ended up being an interesting break because a bunch of the lesser teams went unclaimed for the longest time. And then John Donovan, who I don't know if John is watching or not right now, uh, but John uh, put forth a hey, how about we take the reduced price teams and do a, a draft with somebody and kind of alternate picks, which I thought was a fun idea. So he and Rod Richards ended up doing that. Um, so they have the bulk of the teams in the break. So John has the Diamondbacks, Orioles, Rockies, Angels, Marlins, Mariners, Rangers, and the Nationals slash Expo slot, where Rod has the Indians, Astros, Royals, Brewers, Athletics, Blue Jays, and Tampa Bay Rays slot. Hey, John. Uh, Wade grabbed the Pirates and Padres. Uh, Rod Richards has uh, seven teams in this break, and none of them are the Padres, which I think is the first break that he did not claim the Padres in. Uh, ben Morris has the Red Sox, Tigers, and Twins. Julie Owens uh, jumped in with the Yankees and Giants. 
And then Andrew Rain has the Braves, Ben Martin the Cubs, Jeff Law is the White Sox, I have the Reds, Spiegel 83 is the Dodgers, Brett Allen the Mets, Daddy 000 as he goes by has the Phillies, and Carrie Biggs has the Cardinals. So that is uh, the list of teams. Keep that handy for our break. And as usual, we have some bonus packs. So uh, this time around, this box um, has should have three hits in it, two relics and an autograph. And I believe everything is serially numbered from what I could tell. So that should be fun. Um, but ultimately, there aren't a ton of cards in here. Um, 18 packs, three cards per pack. So I went with some bonus packs that gave us some... Um, Larger amount of cards. So this rack pack alone has 30 cards in it. And then I decided to go with another rack pack, which has another 22 cards. And then we'll take a pack out of the newly opened Dunner's box. And we'll take a pack out of the Bowman box, which is all but complete. We're down to our final two. Uh, and um, I was in uh, Ben Martin's group breaks, and he uh, I requested shipment from him, and he threw in this pack into my box. And so why not include that as a bonus pack as well? So quite a big haul to try to make everybody's slot hopefully get something, because with only 36 cards, there's a good chance somebody gets shut out completely. And I don't like when teams get shut out, so hopefully everybody will walk away with something. So that's my plan. Uh, with that said, let's uh, let's jump right in. You know, let's. I've been saving the the Dunners till the or the yeah, Dunners, the Bowman to the end for my bonus pack. Let's start with it. Maybe I'll change our lock. Maybe we'll pull the Griffey. Another one. Luckily, it's not. If we have one, it's not going to be gum stained. So that that part's the good news. Okay. So we've got our Satchel Page ad card, and then let's see. We've got Greg Swindell. For the Indians, Mark Lewis for the Indians, Claudel Washington for the Angels, uh, Dave Gallagher, White Sox, Bob Brower for the Yankees. I don't know who that is. I appreciate the bonus packs. Sid Fernandez, Mets, Hubie Brooks, Expos, the Royals, Mike McFarlane, Dick Schofield for the Angels. We have Frank White for the Royals. Dave Henderson. And for the Reds, Joel Youngblood. So those, again, no Griffey. We did pull one from the box, so we can't be mad. But I'm, I was hoping for a second. Uh, let's see. What do we go? Let's Why not go with Ben's bonus pack that he threw in for me? So this is the... 7 and 11 slash Sitco promotional packs. Um, I believe that you had to buy, yes, you had to buy eight gallons or more of certain types of Sitco gas or at Sitco or 7 Eleven stores to be able to get these. And the promotion ended in on May 31st, 1992. I, I might pull a cub. Why not? You know, we got to keep the post office in business. You know, they're they're struggling. The more we can mail stuff back and forth, the better, right? I actually like this this little promotional set um, quite a bit. There is a Larkin. I I don't know if it's in this one, but there is a Larkin one of these that I do own. So, um, pretty pretty cool. So here we go. Jose Canseco for the Athletics. There's Barry Bonds. We're pulling a lot of Bonds today for the Pirates. Roger Clemens for the Red Sox. And if you want to know what the back looks like, they're numbered out of, well, not serial numbered, but the set has 24 cards in it. And otherwise it kind of looks, uh, you know, like sort of your classic Fleer design from 92, which is, you know, I think it's a middle-of-the-road flare design. It's not my favorite, but it's certainly not my least favorite. Tom Glavin for the Braves and Frank Thomas for the White Sox. Uh, fun trivia for people. 
Frank Thomas is one of my non-Reds PC guys. In other words, a guy that I collect that never once suited up for the Reds. Um, Thomas, Cal Rifkin, another. Uh, I have a modest Mike Mucina collection because he's a local boy. Mm. I was starting to collect Jose Altuve because I wanted somebody current that wasn't a Red. But then the whole scandal thing hit with the Astros, and that really soured me on Altuve. So uh, I can't say I'm really collecting him anymore. But I didn't get rid of my Altuve cards. So it's kind of just uh, what would be the term purgatory, I suppose. All right, so we get our puzzle piece, as we always do. Tom Browning for the Reds. Kevin Mitchell. Another Red. Willie Wilson for the Royals. Les Lancaster Cubs. Chili Davis, that's the, uh, I don't know if they're one per pack, but at least insert type MVP card. Mike Devereux, sure I said that wrong for the Orioles. Lee Smith, Red Sox. Lee Mazzilli for the Blue Jays. Kevin Bass, Astros. Jim Corsi for the A's. Don Mattingly, nice card for the Yanks. Lenny Dykstra, Phillies. Kent Herbick, Twins. Eric Show Padres and Todd Burns for the A's. So again, going for a, a nice mix of cards and teams just to add to what is ultimately not a super full box. Okay, now we've got a whole bunch of Tops cards. Fairly nice, clean design. Uh, Joquan Arias, rookie. There's a nice Roy Halladay, the Blue Jays. For the Yankees, Abreu and Jeter, classic combo. So this pack probably paid for itself right there. Dave Bush, Brewers, Twins, Joe Nathan, Royals, Gil Mesh. Mesh is it Mesh or Meshy? I don't know. Dan Willer, Wheeler for the Astros, Twins, Shannon Stewart, Pittsburgh, Pirates get a rookie of Shane Uman. Scott Casimir for the Rays. Tim Wakefield for the Red Sox. Ryan Howard, Phillies. Orlando Hernandez for the Mets. Orlando Hudson for the Diamondbacks. Pat Nishak for the Twins. Also for the Twins, Carlos Silva. A nice chipper for the Braves. Chris Carpenter for the Cardinals. Felipe Lopez for the Nationals. That is an X-Red that I will not collect. Never liked him. Craig Monroe for the Tigers. Jason Giambi. That's a nice looking card. The Yankees. And Jamie Carroll for Colorado. All right. Now, the this particular upper deck rack pack has 30 cards plus um, two exclusive bonus cards. I have no idea what the bonus cards are in this set. But we will find out. There's the bottom half. And just to get this pack half right away, there's the top half. Empty. Okay, so we've got rookie card, Scott Feldman. This design's perfectly adequate. Certainly an upper deck, upper deck-esque. You can certainly I don't know. Either that or Fleer Ultra, I would say, is what that reminds me of. Wade Miller for the Cubs. Even though he's pictured as a Red Sox, I go by the team listed, and it does say Cubs on the back as well. Uh, Miguel Cairo. Joe Nathan for the Twins. Vernon Wells, Blue Jays. Mike Lowell for Boston. So it's a Boston card with a Marlin and a red pictured. So go figure. Mark Tiban for the Royals. Mark Tian, rather, sorry. Carl Crawford for the Rays. Victor Martinez. Jeff Kent. I like that. I like cards, players signing autographs. Andrew Jones. Tori Hunter. Pretty nice there. Tyler Johnson, rookie. Never heard of him. Josh Bard. 
Randy Johnson for the Yankees. And I'm assuming this is one of the special cards. Season highlights. Jermaine Dye. Were the triple play scratch offs in the regular upper deck or were they in the first pitch? Wasn't their upper deck first pitch, which was like their opening day sort of spin off? I'm not sure. I didn't buy a lot of upper deck around this time frame. So these most of these cards are new to me. Chris Gomez for the Orioles. Javier Valentin for the Reds. Like I don't think I've ever seen that card, for example. Ryan Langerhans for the Braves. Bill Miller, Dodgers. Todd Jones, Tigers. Luis Rodriguez, Louis Rodriguez, Twins. Oh, triple play one series one or series two, but not one and two. <laughs> of course. Why why would they make it, you know, it all makes sense. John Grabo, Pirates. I know why they did it, though, because if you were a completionist, then you had to buy Series 1 and Series 2 all over again in these rack packs to get these cards. That's why they did it. Dwayne Sanchez, Mike Cameron, Padres, Ryan Dreese, Larry Bigby for the Cardinals, John Rodriguez, Augustine Montero, rookie. Never heard of him. John Lester, rookie. That's not bad for Boston. We have a Alex Rodriguez open season with Homer and five RBIs for the Yankees. And we have a collect the mascots. This is a Red Sox mascot, so it'll go... Collect the three mascot cards in the upper deck fat packs. Register the code. Every set is a winner. Well, someone can steal the code. So that's going to go in the Red Sox pile because I would I would say that's a Red Sox card, even though there are uh, Philly Fanatic and Mr. Met pictured at the bottom. That's got to go to the Red Sox. So that's uh, that's the bonus packs. I'm going to end up with more bonus cards than group break cards, but that's kind of fun. You never know what what kind of bonus cards I'll find or throw in. And I like to do it that way. I like to keep people on their toes a little bit. Breaks that sell out uh, are good for me, obviously. My goal is just not to lose money. I just do this for fun. It's not a, not really a money-making gig. It certainly takes a lot of time, but I do enjoy it. And... Fun to hang out with you guys, even if it is just via chat, especially in a time where we can't really hang out too much with people in general. Okay. All right, so we've got autographs, one in 18 packs, game used cards, number 99 or less. There should be at least one of those, and I believe there should be a total of two relic cards in the box so here's what the packs look like in the box let me just take them all right out and there's the empty box i can get that out of our way all right good luck everybody let's see what we have i don't think that I have, maybe I'm wrong, I want to see, it, but I don't think I've ever opened a pack of these. I'm not even convinced I've seen a pack of these. So we've got right off the bat, a die cut limited edition, Carlos Beltran for the Royals. It's got like a copper or gold stamp to it. Sky's the Limit, Hideki Matsui, Yankees. That's what the back looks like. We get a dummy card and 
and Edgar Renteria for the Cardinals die cut. I guess all the base cards are die cut. 2-1 Dodgers. Who hit the home run? I don't have the game on right now. We get our internet by streaming through YouTube TV. So when I'm streaming for group break chats, I find I probably shouldn't also be streaming the game or anything on television. All right, Esteban Loiza for the White Sox. There's a nice Ken Griffey Jr. for the Reds. Oh, that is a gold proof Ken Griffey Jr. So I get on the board immediately. Kermeyer, okay. 62 out of 150. I have a more than a modest Ken Griffey Jr. collection, so that's nice for me. Dummy card and Rocco Baldelli for the Rays. Speaking of the Rays, these are nice cards. I don't think I've ever seen these before. Yeah, that Griffey's really nice. I'm happy. Um, I don't know that they put the odds for. Yeah, they don't put the parallels are one in six packs overall. And the gold proof parallels are the most common of all the parallels. There's gold proof, which are out of 150, artist proof out of 50, photographer proof out of 25, and executive proof are one of ones. So we should get three parallels, three numbered parallels in this box if the odds hold. Magli Ordonez, White Sox. Craig Vigio, Astros. Another dummy card. And Marlon Bird, Phillies. Yeah, there's a bunch of rookie short prints. I don't know if there's any big name rookies in this set. I will admit when I do these group breaks, I usually just go by the number of cards a team has when I try to price teams. Um, and then sometimes I'll try to look at the hits and you know balance things out as best I can. But I don't I don't pay a lot of attention about every every detail. Just information overload. Angel Baroa for the Royals. Jose Vidro for the Expos. There's our first hit. And before I show that in its entirety, Javi Lopez for the Orioles. And our first hit is a Kerry Wood relic numbered out of 50. That is a Jersey Silver Proof parallel. Kerry Wood for the Cubs. Uh, ben Martin, if you're still if you're still with us, there you go, my friend. Hopefully that's one you needed. Number out of 41 out of 50 on the back side there. Plain white jersey, but it does say game worn. And the jersey silver proofs. Let me look on the pack wrapper real quick here. Yeah, the silver proofs are pretty rare. They're numbered to 50. The only thing rare is the gold proofs numbered to 10. So that's a nice pull for sure. All right, I'm going to try to get some rocky short prints. We'll see how that goes. Kevin Brown, Yankees. Jason Schmidt, Giants, and Mike Sweeney for the Royals. I haven't been paying attention if we pulled any rookies. The rookies are all numbered, I think, out of 2004, if I remember right. Is that correct? Yeah, Flair's game more and stuff is great. Although the next set we're going to rip is has a pretty nice game one. So here's a checklist card. Austin Kearns for the Reds. Here's a league leader, which they thought they were so punny and made it L-E leaders, L-E league, L-E eaters. I don't know how you would say it then, but because it's Skybox L-E, they, they thought they were clever. Uh, that's for the Blue Jays. It is not serially numbered. 
pretty nice, nice enough card, I guess. This kind of looks like um, Upper Deck's MVP to me, which I don't know. was okay. Tim Hudson for the Athletics. I think that late 90s, early 2000s clear products are some of the most fun to open. They had enough inserts. The inserts were generally quite interesting. Um, they weren't overwhelming. The hits, the checklists were good. The hits were nice for the most part. I don't know. I really like that era of Fleer. For the Tigers, Jeremy Botterman. For the Yankees, Hideki Matsui. Another dummy card. And Jay Gibbons for the Orioles. Tiger in this pack. There's Ken Griffey Jr.'s regular base card. For the Cardinals, Chris Narvison. Yeah, that is one of the prospect cards. Numbered out of 299 for St. Louis, which is Kerry Beggs. So that one there. And Demetri Young for the Tigers. I think it's two prospects per box on average. I think that's what I... I don't know. I did do a whole write-up about this. I actually did look stuff up. I just don't remember. So I don't know if that counts. Larry Walker for the Rockies. That's a nice card. Kind of like how the player's in full, full color and everything else is kind of like black and white or sepia. Hank Blaylock for the Rangers. This is another one of those sky is the limit inserts. Not numbered. Kind of neat. Dummy card. And Richie Sexton for the Diamondbacks. Kind of a sucker for die cut cards, so the set has me there too. Albert Pools for the Cardinals. Randy Johnson for the Diamondbacks. I met Randy Johnson a couple years ago. And Brett Boone for the Mariners. Uh, for such a big guy, he is very socially awkward. It was actually almost painful to hear him talk. Like, I just felt bad for the guy. And I can't imagine being, like, always the subject of attention because you're just such a giant of a human. And yet, being so, uh, you know, anti, not antisocial per se, but just, just awkward. For the Expos, Tony Bautista. For the Red Sox, we have a gold proof out of 150. David Ortiz, number eight out of 150 for Boston. So Ben Morris, there you go. Big Poppy out of 150 there. And Andrew Jones. Yeah, David Ortiz with a glove. Eh, early 2000s. Anything could happen. The millennium was so young. We had so much hope and promise. A.J. Burnett, Marlins, another sky's limit. Manny Ramirez for Boston. Junk card. And a Rafael Palmero for the Orioles. I assume that uh, Ortiz had a glove back in his... Twins days, yeah? For the Pirates, Kip Wells. For the Rangers, Mark Teixeira. And for the Yankees, Mike Mucina. It's going to Julie. Shane is a big Mucina fan. He didn't get in on this break. I don't know if Shane is still watching. He was in on the first one. If you're still watching, Shane, uh, you probably try to track this one down. It's pretty nice. We've seen a Jason Kendall, Pirates. Oh, I think we have something interesting in this pack. Mark Pryor for the Cubs. Let me skip to the back card. Chipper Jones for the Braves. And we have a... There's our auto. Rare form, Ricky Weeks. For the Brewers, numbered 10 out of 299. 
with the Brewers. Who ended up with Milwaukee? That's going to Rob. That I believe the Brewers were one of those uh, randomized teams, right? That was part of the draft. It's, I guess it's on card. The card is kind of like printed on top of this sort of print thing. So I don't know if you really count that as on card or not. It's kind of cut out. But it's certainly shiny. This has a nice design. I have not seen these autographs. Now I kind of want to see who all is on that checklist for te teams and players I'm interested in. So there you go. That's our that's our autograph out of the, the box. One is promised. I guess there's always a chance for more. Yeah, that's a nice card. I can't complain. It's like we have something else in this pack. Sammy Sosa for the Cubs. Rob Bowen. This is a gold proof out of 150. For the Twins. Oops, that didn't show up very well. There you go. 130 out of 150. Dummy card and Garrett Anderson. Three packs remain. Weeks is one of the bigger names. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this was a, a novelty set, let's say. I didn't, there were so, there were a few nice names on the checklist, but I don't know how, how common they really ended up being. Juan Pierre for the Marlins. Jeff Jenkins for the Brewers. Dummy card. And for the Rays, Aubrey Huff. For the Giants, Marquise Grissom. For the Twins, Jack Jones. Whoop, there's our second relic. We'll come back to that in a second. Brian Giles for the Padres. And our next relic for the Angels. So there you go, John. You guys split the, the, the hits there. This is a number out of 50. Five out of 50. Garrett Anderson. This card contains a piece of authentic game worn jersey worn by 1990 draft pick Garrett Anderson of the Angels. It's pretty cool. It's spelled out 90 for the year he was drafted. That's pretty neat. Kind of an interesting design. And number out of 50, so not bad. All right, let's see what we can find here. Last pack. For the Braves, Greg Maddox. For the Rays, Carl Crawford. And final card for the Twins, Shannon Stewart. So I'll quickly recap our... We ended up with three Sky's the Limits. Manny, Hank Blaylock, and Hideki Matsui. We had one league leader, Carlos Delgado. And then our numbered cards were the Relic for Gary Anderson, Rob Bauer Gold, Ricky Weeks Auto, David Ortiz Gold, Chris Navarson uh, Rookie Prospect, Kerry Wood Relic, and the Ken Griffey Jr. Gold. So not a bad box. Can't, uh, can't complain about that. Yes, <laughs> smash that like button. Uh, yeah, you're not going to hear me say that. You know, I'm. Uh, I'll appreciate the like, sure, but yeah, I'm not. I'm just not a good uh, self self promoter. I guess is that the is that the phrase one would use there. So, I'll let the cards do the talking. Um, with that said, let me get some of these out of the way. Uh, talk about the next break real quick, and then we'll sign off. Uh, next break, I'm going to post in 15 minutes. And it will consist of another box that we, or a box we did earlier. This is a new one, obviously, of 2003 Playoff Prestige. If you remember the last time we busted this, we ended up with seven relics. I have no idea if that's normal. I still can't find how many relics you're supposed to get in a box of this stuff. Um, but it was fun. We had 
uh, Barry Bonds and uh, uh, Mark, uh, Mark McGuire, I think, and or Albert Pujols, rather. I don't know. We had a bunch of big names. It was super fun. We got some patches out of it. It was just a great, a great break. So I felt like, why not do it again? Uh, super fun. Um, and if uh, in that break, I ended up being stuck with the athletics. So I'm going to give a well not quite give away but if someone buys the athletics team slot they're going to be guaranteed a dual relic because i will be from the last box break this one is out of uh, 153 out of 400 i will add that to the athletics team slot if somebody uh, chooses to buy it so if the a's guarantee a hit plus whatever else we get in this box all kinds of cool stuff just check out the checklist for all the teams um there's there's all sorts of cool stuff this was really fun to open last time there's some acetate inserts there's all kinds of stuff um i love this uh this box um just from last time so i knew i wanted to, to do it again and our uh, this will also count for the strata so we're still taking entries for that uh, which will then be randomized eventually um and i think the next break if i can fill this if this fills this week uh, i would like to bust this box as well which is a uh, world series fever because it just feels fitting during the world series to actually do this and if i had thought i had even a little bit i would have done this one first but unfortunately i haven't uh, looked at this checklist yet so i have not been able to price any of the teams yet so I'm not ready to go with this one. Otherwise, we would be doing that. So hopefully this fills up, uh, or at least mostly fills, and then I can get this thing up too in a day or two. But no promises. I got to I gotta do a little bit of uh, digging myself for, uh, uh, you know, the, the team information and whatnot. So with that said, I think I'm going to sign off here. Uh, let me see. Catch the last. Yeah, playoff boxes did have a lot of relics. Shane, what did she want to trade for the museum? Um, I don't know. Uh, you'll maybe leave a comment and see if she catches it. Uh, probably tag her in it. I don't think that Julie uses Facebook a ton. At least that's what I think that's what she's told me in the past. Um, she's an excellent trading partner, though. So uh, I be, can probably find out for you. Um, I've traded with Julie for years. Um, and she runs uh, a good blog, a really nice blog, actually. So uh, that's how I kind of know her through that. Um, so, yeah, uh, can probably, I'm sure you find something. But anyways, with that said, um, I will sign off here. I'll get the playoff prestige posted at, let's say, 10, 15. I think I can get it up in 12 minutes because I have it mostly done. Thank you all for hanging out. Super fun. Love when we get you know good chats going. Uh, makes it way more fun. Otherwise, I'm just talking to myself, <laughs> and you know that's that's a lot less fun. So yeah, thank you, uh, John and Rod. Thank you. Special thanks to you two both for claiming all those extra teams. That basically meant uh, I didn't lose money on that particular box, um, which I probably overpaid for in hindsight. But uh, hey, live and learn, right? And yeah, thanks all. I'll be uh, seeing you soon. Maybe I'll see some of you in about 12 minutes as you uh, frantically try to get your teams before somebody else because uh, there are some good ones in here. So check out the checklist yourself. You've got 12 minutes. I'm going to get that going at 10.15. Catch you later, guys. Bye.